think I see one. So the adult ticks are most you know, active like in the spring and fall. In the, um, right. in the summertime, you get the nymphs that are active. And the thing about the nymphs, which are just young ticks, um, is that they're smaller, and so they're harder to detect. So we, it is important for people to take precautions from all the way from May until October. Um, over the winter, the ticks are not active, so it's, it's, it's not a concern at that time. But it's May through October that people should be taking precautions. Be alive? Yep, you can see he's moving. This is the nymph, so he's had one blood meal. Yes, I have another one. So if that guy gets on you, yeah, he'll attach and would he'll you feed. Feel a bite? What would you feel? No, so they're kind of like mosquitoes, where they in, they inject like a, a numbing sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So you don't really feel it. I'm field operator for the West or for the Vector-Borne Disease Program. Yep. If you do get a tick, um, try and take it off as po quickly as possible. Don't squish the tick. Um, you have to try and get needle nose pliers as close to your skin as possible and try and pull it out that way. And we always recommend going to your doctor too, just to let it know. Video or signal? How will you be able to tell if this is left or so it's you can kind of see um, there's various pictures online. Um, it doesn't really look. It kind of looks like, like a spider, but the bo bottom part of it is more round. And if you can see, if you get close enough, you can count the sets of legs. So a full-grown tick will have four sets of legs. This one only has three, so it's going to need one more blood meal. And you can tell that by the size. So. Um, if you're ever in doubt, they are hard to identify unless you've been trained. So you can always bring it to us, um, or you can bring it to your doctor and they'll forward it to the lab as well. That's pinhead size. How big do they get? Well, this one's a nymph. Um, the adult ones get a little bit bigger. Uh, the adult females are the largest. Um, they're about the size of a small button, mm -hmm. I'd say. But once they're engorged, they can be the size of an olive or a grape. I didn't want to know if you were like a contract. No. Cool. Cool, thank you. Thank you, guys. It's a fascinating. Size of a grape, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, how can you miss it? But people do, eh? Thank you. What is the material that you're wearing here? This is just a white Tyvek suit. Tyvek? Yeah. It's just sort of like sealed, so. All right. It's just we wear it mostly for the color right. and that we're sealed in. Okay. Chicks prefer wooded and bushy areas. Uh, they want a lot of uh, leaf cover, for example, um, to prevent them from getting dried out. It also gives them an opportunity to uh, sort of hang out on top of grasses and leaves and wait for a passing um, a host to walk by. Um, and then that's how they come into contact with humans or other animals. And do you often find ticks this quickly as soon as you start dragging? No, this is actually the first, this is my first tick I found this season, so I'm happy that I found one. They found some already, but uh, no, we usually have to drag for a little bit longer before we find some.